here's how simple it is to integrate our 485 Gateway Troy with Savant. Don't forget, make sure you've programmed all the devices within Troy prior to beginning this process. Start by opening Blueprint, and you'll see that in this configuration, we have a single host setup and one network switch, which has already been loaded into the canvas. The first step is to add Troy's driver, which will be the UAI Plus. At the top, click on Show Library, and then search for Somfy Connect UAI Plus. If you search for the word Somfy, Connect, or UAI, it'll show up. Once you've found the driver, drag it into the project and it can go into any room. Since we currently only have one room, let's just place it there. You're more than welcome to change the default name of this driver, which is Shade Blind Controller, but that's completely optional. Click Create, and then close the library. Now, let's make this part of the live project. Drag the Shade Blind Controller onto our canvas, and then within the Shade Blind Controller box, drag a cable from the LAN to the Network Device box, and you'll be prompted to add the IP address of the Troy. Next, double-click on the Shade Blind Controller profile, open the drop-down menu, and click on State Variables. This is where we will add the password and username of the Troy, which was configured within the Telnet section when Troy was initially set up. In this scenario, the password is password1, and the username is Telnet. So put those within the initial value sections. Once complete, close the window, and then update the state. Click on Generate Services, and the project will update. Select Done, close the window, and now we can move on to Phase 2, which is where we can add, modify, and remove shades in this project. To get there, at the very top of this window, click on Tools, Settings, and then Shades. This will bring you to the Savant Shades table. Let's add two shades to this project. Click on the plus sign twice, and now we'll begin modifying the settings. Start by going to the Controller tab, click the drop-down menu, and select Shade Blind Controller. If you change the default name earlier, it would show up as that instead. Make sure to do this for both shades. Next, we have Location. Since we've only created one room, that's where the shades will default. If we created more rooms, we could select the appropriate room. After Location, we have the Entity tab. Since we want to be able to move the shade into any position, choose Slider. Once complete, hit Done, and then update the state by clicking Generate Services. Once everything is complete, close the window. Now, let's get back to the Savant Shades table. Click on Tools, Settings, Shades, and we'll begin completing the rest of the configuration. Whatever you write under Label is what the shades will show up as within the Savant UI. In this scenario, we have one RS-485 motor and one Zigbee motor, so let's label them appropriately. To the right of Label, we have UI Type, Command Type, and Command, which will default to Slider, Release Command, and Shade Set. This is perfect, and no changes are necessary here. Finally, let's add the address to the shade. This information can be found within the Troy interface, which you can access by entering Troy's IP address into your browser and then clicking on the integration table. Once you've done that, you'll see a list of all devices that Troy has already discovered. The key piece of information is the integration ID. In this scenario, the two shades we added were the ST50AC1 shade, which has an integration ID of 001-002, and this Zigbee Shade 1, which has an integration ID of 00100C. Take those integration IDs and add them to the respective shades under the Address section. Once that's finished, click Done, and once again, let's update the state by selecting Generate Services, and we're essentially finished. To recap, we added the driver and configured the driver. We added the shades and configured the shades. The only thing that's left is to make this go live. Click on Upload to Master, Save and Upload, name the project, and we're done. And that's how easy it is to integrate Troy with Savant.